All right, anatomy and physiology students, we're taking a look at the histology and the cardiovascular system using PAL. We're in the histology section looking at cardiovascular system, like I said. And of course, you also want to be sure to use your wish list so you're just learning the actual terms that I would like you to know from there. So the first sli seven slides or so are all of blood, which we're not doing. We're starting with slide number eight here. And this is an artery and a vein that you can see uh, um, both of them, as they often run together here, the vein down here and the artery over here, often, almost always with a nerve, what we call a nav bundle, nerve, artery, vein. And you can see the artery is nice and round and held open. The vein has a much flimsier wall and tends to get squashed down like that. And of course, we'll see these up close with some of the details. This is looking um, at the, the inner lining of the artery is the what we call the tunica intima or the endothelial lining the epithelial singles uh you know simple squamous lining of an of an artery the tunica media includes the muscles the the muscular um smooth muscle wall of the artery and um and some elastic fibers and then that tunica externa over here is the connective tissue layer around the outside now a vein has the same layers but you know we tend to be much thinner the tunica intima just the same you've got that tunica media the muscular wall and a much thinner tunica externa and it doesn't hold its shape as well because you just don't have those tough connective tissues nor as much elastic tissue in the vein um, the elastic fibers being seen as all those kind of um, dark curly q fibers running through there um, in this slide, we're just seeing the artery much closer closer up, where you can see that tunica intima, or the uh, endothelial simple squamous lining of it, the tunica media with its um, uh, smooth muscle cells and elastic fibers over here, and the tunica externa connective tissue around the outside. Um, this is, again, just showing an even larger artery, something like the aorta, that tunica intima, the tunica media, very thick, nice thick muscular layer, lots of elastic fibers because those big arteries have to be able to handle the stretch as they get the pumping of the heart and histole and systole pushes large amounts of blood through them and the tunic externa the connective tissues around the outside and here we've got um, a much smaller artery again same layers tunica intima the internal epithelial lining um, what we call the endothelium the tunica media or the smooth muscle layer around it and the tunica externa um, this is now um, an arteriole, a very small artery with some red blood cells in it, and a, a capillary where you can see those um, red blood cells lining up in single uh, file fashion running through the capillary on the slide here. Um, this is a vein now. Of course, it doesn't hold its shape because it doesn't have the thick outer tunica externa, um, as you can see. Uh, the tunica intima, the internal lining, and that tunica media, not nearly as thick in an artery because you just don't have the high pressure that you do in an artery. Um, this is a venule showing a lot of red blood cells and, you know, very thin outer, you know, not much to the outer layer, the small vein. And this is an even smaller venule. You can see the nice simple squamous epithelial cells lining the outside of this the um, nuclei of those cells there and of course the red blood cells um, running through the venule. This is a cardiac muscle cell now and this is very low power. You can see all the cells on here. Uh, you can kind of already tell they're striated when you see up close. You can see the striations in the cells. You can, you know, individual cells and those intercalated discs. Um, you can see them all over the slide, those little dark connectors between the cells that allow the action potentials to run from one cell to the other. Um, probably slightly higher power. You, know, you really can nicely see the striations in the cell, the intercalated discs throughout the cell. You know, there's a really nice cell with all those striations on it. And of course, the nuclei of the muscle cells. These cells fuse sometimes into, you know, one or two or three nuclei in each cell. Um, and just another view with a slightly different stain showing the intercalated discs between the cells, the nice striations of the cardiac muscle cells. All right, well, that's pretty much it for the uh, histology of the cardiovascular system. Be sure you're using your wish list while you're looking at these slides. See you later.